Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. Um, so today's drawing was actually the first thing I recorded when I decided to start recording hand-drawn stuff. Um, and I was really inspired by Casey Goldman, who I will link down below. She is a, another YouTube artist and she does a lot of hand-drawn stuff. And one of the reasons I was really inspired by her was that she talked about how um, and I think I've mentioned this in, in another video, but um, how she was a vector artist like me and she kind of went back to traditional because there was an immediacy to it so she could do it a lot faster and work on her speed whereas with vectors you really want it to be perfect 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 so it, it often you spend hours on the line whereas with traditional work once you put a line down you are you are committed Like Harley Quinn in the asylum, you're committed to it. It's all you are now. All you are. Anyway, so one of the things she also talked about was that when she was getting back in tradi into traditional drawing, she drew a lot of cactuses. And if you look on her channel, there's lots of drawings of cactuses and lots of paintings of cactuses that she has painted and I think she's made stuffed ones. She really likes cactuses. I personally am ambivalent to cactuses. They're they're cute, but I um I've killed aloe plants in the past, so I'm I don't have a green thumb. But I did really like the way she, that she drew them, very geometric, and I, I liked the idea of playing with the color green. And so I decided I would as my first thing I would make a cactus. Um, another thing from her videos that I found really useful is she adds these little like texture lines and I really like how those kind of add to the overall look. Um, but here you see I'm adding Rowlet. When I was initially doing the sketch I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted down there and I decided to put in my favorite burb um, in the Alola Pokemon game. I always pick Rowlet. In fact, I, <laughs> with my moon game, I think I restarted it like 12 times to make sure I got a female Rowlet because I really wanted to call it Artemis. Um, cause it turns into this like ghost archer. It's really cool looking. Uh, Desa, Deca do I? Desa do I? I am not entirely sure how to pronounce it because it's a really weird name, but I really wanted to include him. I might do more Pokemon in the future. I'm a really big fan of Pokemon. Um, particularly Rowlet, he's adorable. And also ghost grass is like the best thing ever for a starter. I, you can come at me with your Poplio and Litten, but no, Rowlet is, is Boib. A Boibable, he's a Boibable. Um, anyway, so I put him down and then I wanted to give him a hat, as you can see, and make him look a little bit cowboy. So I decided to take like the bow tie he usually has and make it look a little bit more like one of those cowboy bow ties. I don't think that's a thing, but like, I guess more like, um, I don't know. In my head, it was like a cowboy bow tie. I don't think that's a thing that exists in the world, but let's pretend. If you know what a cowboy bow tie actually is called, uh, comment down below. Cause I have no idea. Anyway, I am sorry, since this was my first time painting, I did not include, well, it's not that I didn't include, I made a lot of mistakes here. So first thing is that I didn't tape down my paper, which wasn't something that I, because I haven't really ever done watercolor, in fact, I'm using gouache here. This is before I redid my palette. God, it looks awful. Um, so gouache doesn't actually act the same way as watercolor, which is really frustrating sometimes. Um, maybe I should play with real watercolor. But as you see, I put three bits of tape on. It's actually much better to use like masking tape and tape it underneath. That'll keep the edges straighter, which is something I learned from watching way too many of Casey's videos. Again, her link will be down in the description below. Um, way too many of her videos. So many, so many. I'm also uh, taking, she has this thing that she does when she does cactuses where she makes, um, she'll use like a very bright 
green for the body of it, but then she'll use kind of a cooler green, um, more of a viridian green for like the top. So you get this like gradient effect, which I'm sure works a lot better in watercolor than it does with gouache, but let's, I was trying. I'm trying. Anyway, I wanted to say, I'm sorry that the entire picture isn't on screen, which is why this video is pretty short. Cause I think at some point I realized that I wasn't actually recording anything useful. And so we skipped to like a finished drawing, but as you can see, here I am trying to paint. Um, is this the finished one? Yeah, I ended up using purples and doing this kind of cloud thing. I ended up using purples to uh, shadow it, which ended up working really well and I was really surprised at. And I made the Pokeball into a, uh, I think it's a nest ball. It's for catching like baby Pokemon, but it's, it's the green one. So I wanted to match. And there's Rowlet with his little orange feet looking all country. I think it's adorable. Anyway, I was quite pleased with this because I wasn't really going into it expecting anything and it ended up turning out better than I thought, which is always a goal when you are painting or making something. Um, so I guess my lesson for the week is, you know, try new things. Even if they don't work out too well, at least you'll get something cool out of them, hopefully. Uh, go check out Casey's videos. She's a big inspiration to me. And please like and subscribe. I kind of had a, a rough week, so I'm glad this video got out. Anyway, it's been fun. Thanks for hanging with me. Bye!